those. 11 and Ace. Oh, they're gonna be going for the Marcy. And this is pretty dangerous, especially with the block grenade. No rebound. That's gonna be our first blood. The question is who will get it? 11, of course, wants to be the one to uh, secure it. And there it is. Just waiting for Ace to get him down. And we'll cliff. Maybe with the mirror image, you're gonna be lucky to get yourself down. Stop lane. IHC. Looking towards the Marcy. That's a very dead Marcy if I've ever seen one. Just a double edge. And 11 gets himself another kill. That is gonna be a very, very fast veil of discord. If he wants it, could go the spam. Only 70 mana. Very small amount there. Especially if he secures the first power on rotation from the Venge. Ori will get spotted, but he was already under vision because of the track. And say in the vicinity, Ori is gonna be in some trouble. If the Bramble connects, he's gone. It will be said that gets the kill. And the first track does go to... It's really bad in terms of CS, but imagine how much gold he has stolen. Ori, not again! He doesn't have a swashbuckle, he doesn't have the life, the shield crash will give him to live a little bit longer, but in the end he will fall, it's a disaster! And Se will get the kill, Sanctity, another track kill in as well. Things are going really, really badly for Azure. Now even worse, with Bach going down, it is gonna be 4-3 to three that gets the kill. Magnus is just not that high of an armor hero, the uh, raid ban helps, but not that as Ayasha. 11, he's the one that is smoked up, got the blink before the Magnus, who's having his delivered at the moment, troll underneath enemy vision, they see him clearly, they know where he is, and with the Bedlam and the stun, he's looking very much dead, follow-up stuns as well, no chance to go for the battle trance, it is not a track kill, but it is a good job at slowing down this, this onslaught of their enemies, though I see they're done with it, they're going for a move, almost the Shiva's done on the centaur, FY, coming over, not even gonna be a track kill, they don't wait for it, they just want him dead, have any for for some time, but Von Hunter has the item scepter. They see Lou. Battle Trance is at the ready. Lou, he needs to run. There's the stampede being used. He needed to pop that ulti before the stun connected. Just a little, little bit longer, but maybe there could be a turnaround. The RP onto the two of them into the tower. And the Mars is coming in with the stuns. They are gonna annihilate them. Yes, we will take a nice nap after we smash the faces of your teammates. What a play! coming out from them. They get two heroes in an RP, and then three heroes in the rebound step he's in. They understand this is dangerous, we'll move back for now. It's only level one track, so really not that important as they are coming, and they know 4 to 3 is here, they know which one is real, no sleep for you! There will be a sleep inside of your fountain, but that's not the one that he was looking for. This is gonna be a dead Nagas Iron Pops, the Manta trying to run away, but ultimately will fall. Stampede now gonna be used, it was off cooldown, so he couldn't use it earlier. At least the Shuriken will give them some gold loot, part of the engagement as well. The vision game that cost them so much, even with that kind of a start, are you really gonna allow allow Azure to do whatever the hell they want. They found the bounty hunter. They have the follow-up stuns. Terra is just not in time. Se, next on the menu, he just showed himself. It is gonna be the way of Terra that is totally lift up back into the hands of Azure who do more than enough physical damage as they're gunning for more. Ace will get himself away, but this... Azure. Or stop. Lou might be baiting here. They found 11. Has a stampede. Immediately gets himself away. The swap was used. Stolen stampede. FY uses it now. This is how he run forward. Se is slow down to a crawl by the Diffusal Blade. He loses the HP and the mana. Terrorize does absolutely nothing. No, nope, they're gonna be turning around onto the Pango. Has the Rolling Thunder. Will he ever get a chance to use it? Ah, they misses there with a Shadow Realm hit. While Lou coming forward. Gonna get Silence up. Can they finish him off? It seems like the Silence will be enough. But Ori going through all of them with the Rolling Thunder. Still the damage is a little bit lacking. Nicely from 4 to 3. He'll be able to survive because of it. And the Brambles there will be holding Pango in place. Ori looks very much dead, especially with 11 coming in. The RP will be huge onto the two of them. Nobody to do damage. Marcy wants to get the hits in. No more Unleash. So he can't do that much any longer. A couple of them onto the Bounty Hunter. He does fall. 11 staying alive, still very low. Has to be careful of a random Shockwave that could kill him. Box standing his ground, fighting the Naga Siren. He's not winning. 11 comes in with the Hoof Stomp, gets the kill. And a stolen Hoof Stomp from FY. Doesn't have the Fade Bolt. That would have been a triple kill for him. Now Ace coming forward with the Bedlam. He might be able to kill him. I am the top support on this map, and Ace survives. While maybe this game will be looking much, much different, but he just can't get anything off, so he's gonna have to a little bit be a little bit uh, easier on the trigger. Definitely are gonna be needing it. Now the uh, Marcy has the shard. <laughs> what the hell? Tormentor, it's killing them! Two of the heroes have died! 11 is dead as well! This Tormentor is a murderer! What the hell? Not that great of an item, but the movement speed is nice. Just making sure that you can output the waves even easier. 
Magnus Scott will skewer away. Help is coming. Not for him, however. He has been tracked and he will be killed. That's a lot of gold. He does buy a BKB. FY, though. Looking very much that does have a four staff. Stolen track. Will steal the hoof stomp. We'll never get to uh, we'll never get to use it. At least he got the track off onto Sanctity. So Zuri are gonna know. Old lead. Pretty solid here. Map control of IHC. Pretty good too. Marcy. Looking dead. It is gonna be another track kill. Into their uh, into their hands. The troll any in the shop and they have one on Sass. So one smoke each. Buck swap into his death pretty much. He does have a BKB. We'll never get a chance to use it. The stampede damage actually finishes him off as Lou is gonna be going into the Bramble. That's a very hard place to fight in Ori. Has to Manta. Rolling Thunder. They have the Yules. Okay, that was a little bit of a miscommunication, but either way, stolen stampede isn't gonna be enough for Pango to run away. And the troll uses his ult. He's gonna smash the head of the bounty under the bounty. He's tanking. He's not tanky enough. He cannot finish the Pango because of the song. The song only protected the Pango, nobody else. Zone vision currently while his team is coming. The Aegis does expire, so I see they might think that they are don't want to fight. Now they're gonna be in a bad situation. Rubik has the four staff onto the low ground. The stolen stampede is gonna be using it right now, trying to escape, but the terrorize is gonna be onto the three of them. And it's gonna be the Rubik dead. Sanctity popping his BKB, but he's gonna be losing it fairly soon. Let's see how far he can get uh, himself away from. They did find the Marcy jumping away. The curse crown connects only onto him. The buyback from the Rubik is coming through. Esse will be taken down. Takes it some time, but he does fall in the end to the Manta Illusions. Lift up onto the Nagus Iron. Still has a sleep. There's the RP. The troll pops the BKB. He has the ulti. Not gonna be using it just yet. So the Naga might survive. No, nope, not gonna be the case. Starts singing. Immediately dies. Yules on the troll. Doesn't do anything. And there's the ulti now. The hoof stomp does connect. Blink dagger in a couple of seconds. Not gonna be happening. He can't get out of range. So the center will die as well. What a bait from Azure. They win the fight. Center is built like a workhorse, right? Not too tall, but really, really sturdy. Swap. Ooh, uses the Manta, pops the BKB. It's time to run. At least they're gonna be grabbing Sen. No Agon of Scepter on him and 70 seconds on the on the sidelines. That's pretty much gonna be it when securing that this Aegis doesn't. Not making a decision. Has the Vindicator's Axe. That's what I like. Magnus is going to be finding the Dark Willow. The uh, Stampede going to be used in the backline. Rubik caught, but the Sleep has been used already. Troll. And it's going to be coming into the fight. Doesn't have the BKB. Both of the teams have lost a couple of supports, but Rubik buys back. The Dark Willow buying back as well. Now the RP onto the two of them. Lou trying to do damage. Hasn't used the ulti just yet. The Terrorize will connect on him. Onto the three of them, sending them back. Naga only died. Was the hoof stomp onto the three. And the Lotus Orb protecting the troll. He gets saved there by the Rubik. And Lou, because of it, he will survive. Buck gets Levin into the hands of the troll. The Yules onto the center himself. But Lou is now just going to be punching this bounty hunter. Another Yules just keeping in place without the BKB. You are nothing to us. And the Rubik did buy back, but FY doesn't want to die again. He wants to be a nuisance to the enemy team, but it looks like without his teammates, there's nothing he can do. It doesn't look that way as the, another tier 4 will fall. The throne has been exposed. It's now or never a Zure. It looks like this game is over. The BKB will be used now, but a swap there on Sagdi not even allowing him to get skewered away and focusing on the throne. A Zure. They try to tap out, but they get... ...game where they were actually losing for the majority of it. Here's the... ...fine. Uh, he's untouchable. Seemed to be the case. Ace. Gonna be losing his sentry. Meaning no uh, camp to pull from for you. Bramble Maze. Lion versus the uh, Dark Willow. You're gonna lose this fight. One more attack from the Shadow Realm. He's gonna be going under. The stun from the Lion connects. He needs to hide. He doesn't get to hide. But with the Fairy Fire, we'll be able to survive a little bit longer. Ace survives the tower hits. No problem. Tian Min. Wave and Bach is really forcing the issue here. Won't be able to uh, to do all that much. Creeps will be coming into the tower with the wave of IHC still alive, but the glyph will be used right now. Se actually the sticky bomb misses. Four to three is gonna be caught as Lou dies on the top lane, being left alone. Four to three going onto the line. They just turn around on him in the flame break. Amazing to stop the blast up. One more hit, they get the kill. Four to three is running away while Se is burning his opponents. Give me a double, Bach. Are we gonna have a cooked panda? No. Bach will be able to survive, but four to three doesn't care. He knows that he will live no issue. Versus his laning counterpart eating the tree. No way you're gonna juke me out, my friend. Nice quelling blade. That's uh that should be good enough.
Probably would have been ideal if he had gotten them. Seh wants the rune, has the flame break. Line is coming in with the stun. And with a blast off, they're going to be able to secure themselves a wisdom rune. Seh most likely giving his life away. Hex is ready. And Seh will not be allowed to TP away. Going to be turned into a fishy. And fishy on dry land, plus there's fire surrounding him. That's, uh, that's not going to be a winning recipe. So nice kill for the two supports. So farm of the enemies because it seems that the laning phase hasn't gone the way that the Zere wanted. They lost the mid lane. They, they kind of lost all of the lanes. Yan Ming, that again. This line is just a free kill all the time. 4-2-3, not getting the kill. It looked like he's gonna get it 100%, but it forces out the chemical rage. So at least something. As 4-2-3 is charging up the unstable concoction, but will be slowed down by the techies who ease the unstable concoction. And here comes the Dark Willow from the side. FY is probably gonna be dead. It does have the reactive taser, so 4-2-3 has been disarmed. We'll see for how long now with the Girl Strong connecting. Here comes Sanctity with the haste. And not at all. What is this? A dual stack, right? Yep. Only a double one. The smoke has been used. Bye bye, Ori. Yeah, he's so dead. The trap has been used. Tries to TP out. <laughs> very, very unsuccessful. And Ace will get the kill there with the Bedlam proc. Meanwhile, bottom lane, the split will get used. Life Stealer. And it rotate as well to try to finish off this alchemist. What a flame break again to stop the jump in. But it doesn't matter to terrorize. He cannot stop the life stealer and the alchemist finally dies. Lou will be the one who get the kill. Se next on the menu. They pull him in with the astral pull just right after the uh, Bruce split ends. He does get the uh, last off and Lou does go down. 11 coming over to save his buddy. Se will be going down there to the uh, sticky bomb. But in the end, IHC, they're the ones that are happier. Used, you really won't be able to do much versus the A Sanctity. Hiding in the shadows. Waiting for a lion to send him to hell and back to hell and back. But uh, not for now. There it is. Lion has been found. Has the shard. The science is there. And poor lion he cannot survive. But now they know where the TA is at. Cinderbrew connects. Running into the traps. Bach will get science. Now he gets the ulti off just before that happens. Terrorize. He can use it on the other three pandas. The other panda, of course, won't care. Nice dodge there. On the stun. And actually just jumps in onto the leader. Has so many traps. They're surrounded in sanctity. Trying to make a cool play. The terrorize. Onto the pandas. Running away. But the arena will be huge. And they spear the heart of the leader. Science onto the life killer. He's gonna get lasso no rage for you you like it in fast target nobody's there to help him ihc they are crushing the giants of vision versus them Zace is working towards the four staff versus the lion that's quite nice gonna be hexed up but here's the save the double off lane will be coming in onto the line he starts draining this guy doesn't have the shard just yet uses the finger the stun from the other side ace is gonna get blown up 11 probably as well pops the bkb he just got it but that was a bad decision nine second bkb down the drain without much commitment coming out from azure too much he's in trouble or he's dead Oh, will he get lucky? Nah, you can't get that lucky. Spear, unstable concoction. He gets a nice stun off onto the two cores, but it doesn't change the fact that he has been caught by five heroes. Immediate TPs around the map. You want to push out the lanes. You don't want to stay on the top lane for too long. As Techies will get caught by the lasso into the silence, and a couple of hits from Sanctity will be enough to get himself a double kill. One on the top lane. Miss Items looking. He just got a blink. Mars going for a... Uh for Hex, but he has a shard, so double spear is available, and stable concoction will be charged up, and onto the two of them with a TA, amplified damage, destruction, Lou next to the menu set, didn't have the lasso, if he had, that would be the one dead life stealer, no, they're still going for him, he doesn't have the, the rage, he has his ulti, nobody to infest, give us that gem, even more gold into their pockets will increase the gold lead even further, you bought that to keep yourself safe, and in the end, nobody, as well, they understand something is coming. Scan was used, they see it being way too slow, and Bach jumps in. Cinderbrew doesn't connect on anyone. Okay, that's Seh uh, revealing himself. He's just gonna be going down. Does not have a buyback. It's a 4 versus 5 scenario. If there was ever a chance to come back into this game, it's now. Bach walks into the pit, sees the Roche, half HP. You have solid amount of physical damage with the Lina right clicks. She does have a BKB. Jump in from Bach. Instant silence. Has to be very careful. If he dies, it's gonna be a problem. Marina gonna be used. No, he's going into the backlines, but the Terrorize does connect. This is gonna be enough. The shields keep him alive and within fast. He'll be fine. Can he get the split off? No! 
The life starter doesn't get out in time. They do lose the alchemist, however. And Delina is doing a ton of damage. Gonna get the stun onto the sand, onto Sanctity, but he's on the high ground. The curse crown connects onto Lou. Buyback from the line. Now the science from the life stealer. Nice dodge on the spear there. The rage just in time. Ludo, he needs to deal with a TN from the other side. The line will come. They have the stuns onto Sanctity. He's gonna get taken down. Ori, very low. Gonna be slowed down there by the bullwhip as Ace is trying to escape. He's gonna put the uh, crown onto Lina. Every girl, because the Roche will be traveling soon. Bach coming back. He didn't use the split in the previous one, so they have everything they need to fight once again. The Cinderbrook reacts on the bat, has the four staff trying to run away. Firefly gonna be used, but he didn't use it in time, so now nice usage there of the flame break, not allowing this jump from FY to do anything anytime. We'll get the lasso off. FY taking a lot of damage, but in the end, Bach is gonna be waiting for him there on the high ground toward in the mid lane that is not gonna get rewarded. Hiding in trees. Bach goes in. Is he gonna split? Yeah, he'll get it off this time around. The curse crown doesn't do enough. Nice stun from the line. Follow up onto Sanctity. They want him dead. Arena trying to protect him, but they're gonna get out of the arena and focus on Sanctity, who is dead. Now, it is gonna be Tian Ming that is in a lot of trouble from the Alchemist, whose BKB will be coming to an end fairly soon, so you have to be very, very careful. And there's the jump in from FY this time around. No flame breaks to stop him. All of their resources used to try to save the Alchemist, and now you're just gonna be dying one by one. 11. He did manage to escape last time. Let's see if that's gonna be happening this time as well. The Cinder Brew not allowing the blink, but they want the Roche. Which of a percentage of, of the hits is the TA gonna hit? Would be cool to know. And Lu has to be careful, has the BKB. It's a nine second one. They do find the line. That's a good way to start the fight just to delete him. Does have a buyback. Nowhere to TP2, however. Nice four staff there onto the Mars. He still has the Hex. Has to be somewhat careful. Lina, nice BKB usage. Still has the shield. So Mars, your shield will not help you whatsoever. But Lina's won't even be attempted to go through. Mars put down his arena. They do bring down Bach. He died to the damage of the Mars. I'm guessing that was a spear. Dropping into the backlines. The Terrorize onto the Lina, but they need to go through the shield. He's taking a long time. Not any longer. That Terrorize. No, the Infest and the shields. Going onto the Lina. She's still surviving. Turning around and fighting and winning and everybody's dying to the bombs. Yes, come to us. We want you here. Lina dying to the fire. She is the goddess of fire and in the end will burn. But the fight will be going to nobody. Always somebody in mere seconds. Smoke was used. Every single spell is ready on both sides. So you're gonna find the buybacks are gonna be very, very important in this fight. Zeray, they're the ones that can TP to the outpost tier 2, only available for IHC. Going around, going around. Tian Ming, they see him. And Lasso onto Lina. She does get hexed up. No BKB for you and no life for you either. No infest. There to save him. The split was used. Sanctity gonna be in some trouble. Both of the mid laners are gonna get deleted. FY jumping onto the ground. He thought he was gonna be getting the TA. No buybacks on the two mid laners as the uh, Dark Willow tried to survive their no Shadow Realm usage. Yeah, lift up onto the Mars. Doesn't have the BKB. The split will land while Azure. They do lose three of their heroes. They're in three versus two scenario, but two of their cores alive. Thinking they can fight. Nothing to stop the TP. 11 will be fine. Acid Spray has been dropped on the ground. And Bat right now has a BKB. I'm expecting him to get a uh, Aghanim Scepter as well. He knows where Lou is. There it is. The Lasso connects. Pulling him in. What's with the range? They have the Hex. They have the follow-up stuns. They just need to mix them up perfectly. And it looks like that's exactly what's going to be happening. Stunned forever. Does have a buyback to fight the Roche. And you might want to do it considering that the Zeray are bringing in heroes. He will be uh, most likely be coming there to assist his team. Ace. Hiding in the trees. He does have that psychic headband. And the line amulet on the bat rider jumping onto all of those traps. And Lina has the BKB inside of the arena. He'll be fine. Set trying to fly around there around the arena. And they lose the Brewmaster as well. Does have a buyback. Lou back in the fight. Will be slowing down Sanctity. Now looking towards the other part of the vibe where Se is just burning down everything. No BKB any longer. Will be jumping on him. He's in a ton of trouble. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. The bat rider will finally lose his life. Finger of death to finish him off. Tian Ming actually doesn't even get the kill for it. Now straight into the pit. You don't have a buyback on the Bat Rider, it might not be a good time to fight. No BKBs, no chance to go for it. Ace, hoping to steal it, that Dragon Slave almost killing him. No Terrorize, I would be very surprised if he's able to... <laughs> oh my god.
Okay, go lead for IHC, but they're not the ones with the Aegis. The A lineup jump in lasso, but they actually immediately onto the path right of the follow-up stun. They're not gonna allow it to move this. Scatic Scap not really gonna help you. Brewmaster has been feared. He's dropping low, and finally will fall as 423 is running away with Rattle Cage. He does give him extra armor. Life a little bit too far away. Does dodge the last attack of the TA and will save the Aegis. Gets the infest onto FY. Doesn't have the jump just yet, but he's gonna have a hex fairly soon. Ace, no chance in hell you're surviving the right clicks from the life stealer for three seconds. And Lou gets a double. Even still slightly has more belief. The side of IHC who are currently smoked, looking towards the Lina. Glapier connects, BKB, X onto the Lina. Is that gonna be a cooked piggy? Most likely. They just fall up with all the stuns. He is dead. Next to the line, Tian Ming. The line does fall as well, but those are two heroes, both of which have buyback. Lysteller doesn't have a buyback, but he has the Aegis to work with. Nice Ghost Scepter there from FY. Will be keeping alive without the BKB. The TA has nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Will just be taken down. And with the two buybacks, it is time to bail. IHC, they are forcing those buybacks. Dark Willow going for a blink away. TP out. Will be successful at doing so. Why are these traps around the map? Up. They're just scouting everything for a Zure. You cannot smoke out, you cannot do anything. Sanctity gonna be hexed up. Ascetic Scap coming into place. Level 25, four stats. They didn't really use them nicely. With the BKB, he'll try to escape, and the uh, refractions will allow him to blink away no problem. It's a BKB down. Meanwhile, backlines. 11 has found one support. He wants the other one. Why do they all have buybacks? I'm thinking that's what I see. I'm thinking about 4 to 3. He's gonna be finding Tiang Ming. Doesn't get the BKB off. Doesn't have it. Delina destroyed him with an Ampli find damage you do not exist cinder brew everybody's getting drunk yeah you should be drunk going on to this lena with an amplified damage they're pulling it in with the lasso maybe the ta can finally bring ori down just to the starts dealing the damage let's see how much your refraction can help the double spear onto the new course that's gonna be huge and the lena will finally fall but you're all too low and the cleanup will come with fy making a huge boom and making sure three of the heroes are dead you don't have one on the Alchemist, however, but the second that people buy back, Lou is gonna be running away. Well, there is gonna be a lasso. You might not be allowed to run away. Double four step there, and they get him next to the throne. That's where he will die. Brewmaster thinking that he can save his buddy. No chance of escape. He is very much afraid from the Terrorite, and he should be, as his life will be taken down. The TA does more than enough damage, but Se, he has been the MVP for IHC in this game. Sanctity, his early game was amazing, but Se, in the later portions of the game, he has been carrying his team. And with this amount of money into the pit, 18 seconds until the life dealer is alive. He doesn't want a buyback. They do have the outpost, however, to come over. Buyback's not looking too bad for the side of Azure. Roche, though, falling down super fast. As Se is making a statement there very aggressively, but he does have a buyback. Aghanim Scepter, who's picking it up. Nobody just yet. They just TP away. Se giving his life away. Not too bad. For the next 20 seconds, they're gonna have it soon. Also, guys, you might have $500 inside of your Bedboom account if you go and type Bedboom or Dacha24, but let's uh, keep that on the side. As they're gonna be going for the Lina, the Terra is disconnect. There's the Refresher, Mars has another Arena, but he's gonna even need it for this Lina with the uh, Infest. Trying to keep her alive in the end, he's dead. Now the last way to the back lines, the end this will break out box. He'll be fine. Lou standing his ground, fighting Sanctity and actually winning. Who's losing a ton of mana. He doesn't have any mana to work with on the side of Sanctity. The buyback from Se is gonna be coming through. But look at what FY is doing in this fight. She's just destroying and doing amazing amounts of damage. Eleven will go for a TP out. And the flame breaks, making sure that the lion dies. That's gonna be one buyback on the side of Azure. Attack speed, and maybe he's given an Agonim Scepter from the Alchemist, who's currently already farming it. 11, run away, take care of their illusion with the Hex. With the BKB, he'll try to run away. The Rage from the Light Sword, giving him the movement speed. He's gonna have an overwhelming blink fairly soon. 11, inside of the Invis there. The Trickster's Cloak will not allow it to live. And look at the damage from the Lina. Turn around with your shield, with your arena. No, it's not gonna happen. Does have a buyback in the 30 seconds. Because you don't have Night Vision heroes, whilst the Zure, they were able to farm those. Now he's out, does have the bots too, so can we join the fight in two seconds? Ace, still not level 25, getting close to it. Lou just jumps in with the overwhelming blink. Jump into the back line. Everything is closed, but 11, he did have the BKB. Nice spear onto the line. Another spear onto the two of them. FY will protect himself with the E-Blade. And the Link is here to protect him even more. Bashes onto Bach. He doesn't have a split anyways. Can't use the cheese. Does buy back. Lina has been found. Lou comes in forward. He does have the infest. Doesn't want to use it just yet. And the open wounds are spreading. I see. You have to be careful. Those wounds, they can hurt. Nice down onto the line. But he still has the rage. He is debuff immune forever. There is a buyback on the TA. So you're going to be in a 5 versus 4 scenario with two cheeses, actually. To get the Revenant's Brooch at some point, it would be insane if it would be magical damage, right? For now, Zeray going for a smoke. They want to end this one right now.
<laughs> DA, you don't want to die, but Lou is going to be getting onto him. The Hex connects. Where the four step? He needs the four steps, and he's not going to be getting them now. They're going to be coming out. He's still dead. Rapier on the ground. Lou says thank you, and now he's going to be fighting. That is a big ass life there, but he gets last one into the force. Maybe they can kill him there. They have to kill him there. Being a piggy, he is dead. It will be Rapier on the deck. Alchemist will be picking it up, but the Raxes have fallen, and life there does have a buyback here in a four versus five scenario. Well, the lion is training you all, and FY continues to destroy everybody. Laguna Blade. Onto the increased magic damage onto the Mars. You don't have any glyphs and the throne is exposed. You jump now or you jump never. What a cyclone. Mars trying to do something without the BK. He won't be able to do anything. Alchemist is going to be stunned up for a long period of time. The arena is going to be huge but nobody to do damage in it. This is our arena. And in it, the life stealer will eat everybody. Or he's still surviving, healing up. They're through the open wounds and we are going to a game three. But in the end... Zere, they were dabbled at much range. I'm liking this. Naga Siren is crawling on the ground. It is, it is stupid how powerful it is. I think in the future, teams are gonna start to uh, pay casters to praise their opponents so that somebody would uh, just die afterwards. Naga Siren is slowed down. This should be our first blood. Uh, just draining mana to make sure that he's slowed down. And FY actually gets the kill. Finding an Invis June. This is dangerous for Ori. He does have level 6, but still no blinding light. There's the minus armor. There's the stun. The uh, Bramble Mace connects as well. Gonna pop his ulti. And there's gonna be a swap into another Bramble. Beautifully done by Sanctity still. Next to the tower, he is gonna be taken down. So both of the mid laners will be losing their life. But of course, it does favor IHC. Forces out rotations. Create space for the Naga Siren. Side of the Seas of Serenity. Healing himself up. He's doing his best to kill the Siege Creep. And Sanctity is coming into a fight. Tries to die away. Will get signs by the last word. That's a little bit too deep from Sanctity. But he's not taking much damage because of the barrier. Now Lou, think about fighting. He's gonna decide against it now understanding just how powerful this vengeful spirit illuminate there protecting Bach really wants some damage into this tower the swap the global science and the death of Ori will come just so much physical damage coming you you don't expect a carry a core vengeful spirit to be hunting you I guess oh, Luna they know where she is. Lou is being surrounded and Lou will be dead very much so. Nobody to assist him. And he's just staying inside of the Bedlam, the Chakra, both of them just ripping the Luna apart. Those odds favoring IHC. The whole series odds, they were always on the side of Azure, even when it was 1-0. Now, not so much. Bach all alone in the top lane. The TP from the line coming over. He wants to save his laning buddy, but his laning buddy is looking very much dead. Science thought the battle will be there. Stun from the line from afar. Might be enough to save the Abaddon. Now, finally, with the global science, they have had enough with this Abaddon. He will die to the Arcane Curse. FY could be next on the menu. The last word is on him, as well as the Arcane Curse. Slow down to a crawl, and with the Chakra, he'll get cut down. And go to keep coming killed. Getting surrounded by three enemy heroes isn't healthy either. Sanctity the running away gets the stun off. Gonna be slowed down. Nicer spike gets him on the edge there. And now does have a manta. We'll be using it. Terra is gonna be beautiful. Abaddon can't do anything about it. Luna will lose her Aegis, but I've already lost the line. Lou dead. Does not have the BKB just yet? He's going for a manta. Maybe he would like to have that BKB. Vengeful Spirit will be losing his first life, but still has the illusion to play with. Now the Willow Wisp. That's gonna be the two light bulbs. And Lou is just gonna be smashing them. Look at how much those glazes are bouncing. But you only lost one hero, so maybe you can go for more. Gem on the ground. It is gonna be Tian Ming that picks it up. Finally, the sleep does end. And it's time for a chase. Ace next up. He does have the Shadow Realm and the TP. Though versus the Illuminate. I'm not sure that that's gonna work out. While Eleven goes into fight, tries to get some kills, and will be unsuccessful at doing so. He just went way too deep. And everybody on the side of Azure that he was gunning for right now survives. It will be a two for two fight in the end. But you did get rid of the Aegis. To reset it. Stun. Gonna be used. That's the silencer. Then, no, he gets up to the high ground. He's gonna be surviving. Lou still chasing on him. Does have the nighttime vision. It's all gonna be enough for a kill. The Lucent Beam, just not strong enough. Solar Bind onto the Timber Saw. Now, the Willowist will not allow him to escape. The swap there just to give an extra shield. But in the end, the 11 will be going down. Sanctity needs to run away from the Willowist. They can spot this. I don't wanna look at it, but it doesn't matter. The egg will pop. They find him. They silence him. They kill him once. Give us your illusion as well. You're gone. Lou gets a double kill. Think breathing Dota. That's what we're all about here at Bedboom, as uh, they will be smoking up. 
HC, the smoke does break, the smoke on smoke action, everybody knows, the battle is there, well the wisp is gonna be dropped down, Sanctity gonna be caught, it's not the easiest hero to kill, as he does have a second life as well, but we'll be losing his first one immediately, he gets up onto the high ground, even if you have a buyback, you don't wanna be using it, now he gets back onto the high ground as well, and they're jumping from Timber, so they want him dead, it's gonna take a long time, however, even without the borrow time, this guy, he is tanky, just gets the TP out, and in the end, it is the Pulstan's line, needs to be the one to catch him, FY, they know that the Naga Siren was in the vicinity, but 4 to 3 is already out. The other hand, though, 11, you're not, and the illusions of the Naga Siren are leading the enemies right to your front door. No blink dagger on the timber saw, but there is one on the line. Maybe Global Science TP out. No, that Global Science was so, so wasted. We haven't seen it for quite some time, and Se, after his amazing performance in the Batrider, he's just not having the same luck on the. Three. There's the recall. Is he calling? It's gonna be the lion because he needs the lockdown to keep Timbersaw in place. The X does connect and the Ignis Fata is, is there. The overwhelming magical damage is going for him. Can he get himself out? The answer is a very decisive no. They surround him with five heroes and that's what I was talking about, the recall. And just, they have been at the peak. Now are gonna be going down, taking I see his lead with them and straight into the base. You do have a glyph, but once the Luna gets this gets this tower down, it is gonna be a problem. Swap onto the Luna, into the base, and instantly they turn around to say that you wanted this fight and you're gonna get it. Doesn't have a buyback. The buyback coming out from the timbers a little bit too late. You're missing your mid laner, I think. Lou doesn't have a BKB, doesn't have a Manta, but Bach is gonna be smacked around by the Shadow Realm. Ace enemies, they knew. Who about the uh, Keeper of Light being on the bottom lane, but he will connect with his team. It is a 5 versus 5 engagement that is waiting for us. FY, he TP's away! He wants to deal with the Naga Siren Illusions. Lou breaks the smoke, but he's the one with the Night Vision. He sees everything. They're gonna run out to the Naga Siren, doing some damage to her. Shadow Realm attacks coming through, terrorize as well. But the BKB protecting Lou. He's running forward, not really gonna be doing all that much damage with the Lucent Beam. And they do recall back the line. Now Sanctity gonna be caught again. The 4 staff does absolutely nothing versus the Willow Wisps. He's still looking at it. He has wings and he's looking at a light bulb like a fly. In the end, the swap there just gives him a half a second more to live. 423 has a sleep TP out. Might want to use it right now. The, the stun does connect. Hex fall up as well. The overwhelming physical damage will be enough. And it is going to be the Phoenix that cooks the fish. No sushi today for without the glyph. How can you defend your axes without the glyph? How can you stop the megas from coming in base? Sanctity coming over. They're going for Lou. As the Hurricane Pie gets away from the Terrorize. I'm not afraid of you. And he shouldn't be at all. They will always pulling them all into a very uncomfortable position. Egg is going to be protecting his own teammates while the sleep is saving the axes for the time being. Not for long. Luna. Pinging them out and is ready to take them out as well. Abyss of Blade will connect. Lotus Orb returns in. They're trying to finish on the Luna BKB and a Satanic gonna be used. You're not killing me, I'm killing you and your base with it. Everybody is still alive, but it's actually the Venge Illusion is alive not for long. Does lose its life. No, Sanctity still gonna be staying in that game. A dieback onto the Timber Saw. Nice ghost after for FY. Doesn't care about your Shadow Realm attacks. Nice dodge on the Dagon and Naga Siren will be alive for now, but Will Wisp not allowing him to sing. He is dead. The GG will be called IHC. They had a first game. They had a second game. They maybe even had a third. But they're not going to be able to get the two victories to go to the Grand Finals. Azure coming. It just wasn't good enough.